Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Thermaltake Big Water Water Cooling Kit. Included in this kit is coolant, tubing, a water pump, a refill water tank, a fan speed control for adjusting the fan which is on the radiator, and all the necessary materials needed for installing the kit and installing the CPU water block on the socket 478, 775, 462, 754, 939 and 940. Also the installation guide. The CPU water block, the rad and the pump have something in common and it's these easy connect fittings. These fittings make it very simple but secure to attach tubes to them. I'll show you how it works. First of all remove the nut, slip the nut onto the tube, then push the tube down and next secure the nut on top. The CPU water block has an acrylic top with an embedded blue LED and it does look quite nice when it's powered on. The base is solid copper. It's very thick and smooth. That will allow great contact between it and the CPU. This water pump pushes 120 liters per hour of water and is a very quiet 20 decibels. It gets connected right into your motherboard's fan header and has four tube connections. These two for the main flow of the system and these two get connected to the refill water tank. This top here comes right off so you can easily refill the system. And now have a look and a listen to the pump. It's virtually silent. The radiator is all aluminum and as you can see fits a 120 millimeter fan. This particular fan pushes 38 to 93 CFMs, is a very quiet 17 to 21 decibels, and spins from 1,300 to 2,400 RPMs. Now have a listen to the fan as I increase it from the minimum spin. to the max. As I mentioned before, this CPU water block can be installed on a number of different motherboards. The socket 478, 775, 462, 754, 939 and 940. Today I'm going to show you how to install it on the socket 478. First remove the plastic retention bracket that's on the motherboard. Next, turn the motherboard over and place the H insulator, aligning it to the holes. Also place the H metal bracket over that. Then insert these four bolts through the four holes up through the motherboard. Carefully turn the motherboard over and then use a washer and a nut on each bolt to fasten this onto the board. Next, carefully place the CPU into the socket, apply a thin coat of thermal compound and place the CPU water block on top. And finally, slip the H metal bracket down through these four bolts. You will then need to attach a nut on each bolt to securely keep the CPU water block on top of the CPU. Once you've done that, Go ahead then and connect this LED lead into the motherboard's fan header. Because of the easy connect fittings that are on the pump, the CPU water block, and the radiator, it makes it very easy and secure to connect every component of the kit together. The direction of flow is out from the pump as cool water into the CPU water block, 
coming out of that as warm water. The red eater will then cool that water back into the pump and the cycle will continue over and over. Now one thing that I am not using in this particular kit is the refill water tank. This is an easy way to refill the system. I would recommend using it if you do not want to refill the system through the pump, which can be easily done at the top. This kit performs well. It's also easy to install and is affordable. Three very important things. Now I like the fact that it fits on just about any motherboard that's currently available. That really takes all the confusion out of it for anyone who's thinking about getting into water cooling. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please help support 3dgameman.com. Until next time, take care 